Okay, so when you last left off, you had a pretty good plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that was really deadpan, so it took me a moment, but now I'm terrified. <laughs> hey, look Look at it this way. We beat King Charles. This is just some guy with a cape. Yeah, but I... Um, King and Charles. This time you turned... have me. Yeah, that's true. King Charles didn't really know what he was doing. So although he looked impressive, like and he had a cool power, he wasn't an Infinity Wizard. Yeah, Espresso but... isn't an Infinity Wizard. He just makes cute clouds and sets people on fire. So the thing is, like, I have no idea what these bean people are in Mario context. So I really don't know what to expect. What do you mean? I've never played a game that had bean people. Like, I know they're an actual Mario thing, but not in any games I've played. They're probably from an RPG. Yeah, I mean... Oh, yeah, they are. You're going to have to play them soon. There's nothing particularly special about them. They're in Superstar Saga? Yeah. Huh. We got a preview. Yeah. We're gonna yeah, when spend you... the whole game looking for espresso. Yeah, when you play Superstar Saga, you'll be like, I know exactly how these guys work. <laughs> I fought them in Cortex. I mean, you can find espressos in a way. Get it? I'm so funny. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Did no one else play Superstar Saga? No. I did not. I did, like, a long I, time ago. I get you'll it. get the joke when you find it. <laughs> Alright, looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm gonna be Keep playing, then suddenly I'm just gonna go. Now I get it! <laughs> Where are we? We're at the hotel, I'm assuming. Or are we, are we at the house? The new hotel on the sixth floor. Which... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're at the haunted motel gimmick. Yes. Oh, yeah, it was haunted. I forgot about that. Oh. And it's an upgrade for me because I've been sleeping in a jail cell. <laughs> Oh, wait, so you got him out? <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you missed that. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we finally got uh, Caesar the, the magic cape. And, oh, and he like, escaped. almost immediately he broke out. Yep, I, didn't, I made no attempt to uh, <laughs> to be subtle about it. They They visited me, and then, like, ten minutes later, they noticed I was gone. Apparently, they almost, like, arrested Olo and Xerix. But we missed that. <laughs> that would have been funny. Room. But yeah, we proved for sure that Espresso is the guy who's being a fake van, and he claims that some somebody Van knows called Victor hired him, but uh, Van Which doesn't a, believe it. Yeah, that's a lie. Victor. Is Victor a bean boy? No, he isn't. What is he? Is Victor your best friend? He is... No. He's an acquaintance. An acquaintance. So he's trust. your worst enemy. Victor was his Robin back back in his purple dawn days. <laughs> <laughs> Is Victor your ex boyfriend? No. no. <laughs> acquaintance. That sounds like he's your ex boyfriend. See, I've never <laughs> used a person use the word acquaintance without it being meaning something else. <laughs> Well, there you go. Acquaintance is a word that exists strictly to use as a cover-up for other words. Yeah, so how are we going to get uh, Espresso to meet us? We already uh, made him reveal his location so we could send the cops to him, and then he killed all the cops. Yeah. So, so we was... still have... We, the thing is, we still have the walkie-talkie, and we know how to make him... Like, how to actually make a meeting happen. I mean, we can't fake being, uh, what's-his-name, the henchman anymore. I'm sure we can. Just try. I think he already realized his henchman. He tried to kill his henchman. He realizes that his henchman betrayed him. Um, I mean, could could Jakey Boy call him as himself? I, he doesn't know who I am. Oh, yeah. uh-huh. That's true. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> and yet you've probably spoken with him the most over the phone. 
So what I'm curious about is like, I, I'm just confused how the magic works, you know, because like he burned his henchmen. Is it like location based? Is it name based? Is it like a voodoo like doll? He has to know where you are to some degree. Yeah. Like we don't know too many specifics other than he chants and that he needs to use sticks. When he when I was so on the just phone just with him, all the sticks. He Duh. he asked there's other people in the room with you, right? And even though I left the room via the window immediately, uh he still cast spells on people in the same room. So it seems like he targets a place and not a specific person. Yeah. He doesn't need to know who's there, just that somebody's there. Okay. Although considering he burnt like five to seven police officers at the same time, he's way more dangerous up close. That's why we just don't let him get a spell off. Mm. Yeah, that's the plan, basically, to just not let him... Flawless plan, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Got all the details worked out. So we go try calling him or just go and burn his house down? See, my fear is that if we just try to burn his, worth, his house down, he's just gonna, like, magic snipe us from afar, because he has no reasons to show himself. Mm. Also, his house is already pretty burnt from when he fought all those police officers. Yeah, I don't think he really cares about his house. It's probably not his house house. Like, it's a meet-up place. If, like, they're, like, it, like planning to, like, poison the whole floors and all that, I don't see why he wants to stay here. Well, yeah. Stay there. Like, Oh, also, I don't, I don't know if this is going to help with the plan, but um, when Holo and I were speaking to the the water vendor, and I pretended to be him, uh, he said that Expresso was a police officer. Hmm. Oh, oh yeah, he went, when he visited me in, in jail, he had a police badge. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did it Spooky. say Expresso on it? I didn't notice. Could be just a fake. I mean, the police let him walk in wearing it, so it's as good as... Maybe he cast, like, a suggestion spell that's on his badge. <laughs> Look, if it's, anything is possible is a thing. I don't know how I feel about attacking him. How else do you propose we go about this, then? I mean, there's not a whole lot we can do, really. Like... Is it possible, like, to just quickly kill him? With, like, time stop shenanigans or something? Well, I don't know. That's our. That's what we hope to do. That Yeah, we were thinking about Tur- Sturg's uh, time stop. But like, we don't know that much more about them. I, I don't know. Like, like, like the, the, main, the main issue is, like, if we encounter him and we get the element of surprise, we have a lot of options. A lot of them are pretty good. I'm not worried about that. The issue is I can't think of any way for us to get the drop on him. I kind of want to do this pretty badly now. Like, we've got this. We just need to... Just need to meet him somehow. It's, just, it's a kind of a major somehow is a thing. I ring him up on the phone. <laughs> do you have oh, his boy. number? <laughs> uh... Hey, Van, give me uh, Express this number. I don't, <laughs> I don't have his number. Jakey Boy has his number. <laughs> Jakey Boy, give me Express this number. Look, I'll just call him and then I'll give you the phone. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I, I preemptively leave the room. <laughs> Actually, that's a good right. idea. I'm going to follow him. But um, don't you have yeah. a thing where you got to stick up to your comrades? Uh, maybe, fine, maybe we should call have a room. bucket of water um, <laughs> off to the side. I I'm hang serious. out the window with the phone so that he... <laughs> and he uh, spells I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold you in my arm up the window. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I can target the space what outside is... our room. <laughs> <laughs> what is that gonna do? Well, if he asks if he's alone in the room, you can say I'm outside. <laughs> <laughs> and if he targets like where I am, that'll hit outside harmlessly instead of in our room. It'll hit the entire outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining the Titanic pose now. <laughs> 
All right, Herco. I think I think we've got him on the phone. All right, so you're calling him? Yep. Well, being so held he picks up the window. <laughs> so he picks it up and he says, "Yeah, who's this?" <laughs> Hi. This is uh one of the assholes you've been fighting. Uh, where uh, can, can we meet? Can we meet you and fight somewhere? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> no. I mean, and he hangs up. Oh. <laughs> what did you think would happen? What the? It was <laughs> my God, Caesar. It was worth a shot. <laughs> was Not it really? <laughs> it was a pretty poor shot, Caesar. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, it was. It was better than nothing. Maybe. <laughs> <sighs> Well, no, because now we have no information, but he knows that we're explicitly against him. <laughs> this he, probably was ex- already, he probably already forgot about it. Can you do, like, a... Can you use your uh, emotional bracelet to uh, check his emotions over the call? Uh, or do you have to, like, actually see him? I don't know. You have to see. Okay. Alright, so we gotta trick him into taking a video call. <laughs> I don't even think that technology exists. No, it doesn't. Darn. Well, not here, at least. I don't know. What 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 are we wanting to do? This is a kind of a weird thing. I sit Caesar on the windowsill. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me try. I mean, he wants me dead. Maybe we can use that to lure him out somehow. Stand outside the hotel. Just stay there. Wait, why don't you just say, hey, this is the Purple Dawn. I'm coming after you or something stupid. Like, he he cares about, like, getting rid of the Purple Dawn. So you want me to do the, the, the same phone call that Caesar just did? <laughs> <laughs> sure, I don't know. I mean, like, it's a good idea using the incentive of... of Purple of the uh, purple dawn is bait. Like that that's a, that's a plan that could go somewhere. It's just what, what can we do with it? I'm kind of surprised we haven't done that. You haven't actually communicated with him during all this time. Well, I mean, I spoke with him when we were doing the investigation stuff. Right, but not like as the purple dawn. Yeah, you know? that's, that's true. Like I'd say it's worth trying, except we just did that with <laughs> Caesar, and I think he's gonna think we're lamos. <laughs> I mean, does maybe it we can just maybe we can just bother him enough that he'll want to fight us just to uh, get us stop. It's just the problem is like this guy is kind of crazy. Do you think he's like going to meet us even if I ring him, or is he going to just try and attack remotely again? I'll I'm attack thinking remotely. the latter. That's the problem. I think. Here's uh here's another thing. Uh from from sources, I happen to know that his name is not actually Expresso. I don't know wow, what it really I'm so is. But, uh, oh. That's not that helpful. Yeah. But S- from sources? Yes. The the the, the stone mind hive mind, alright. Uh-huh. Oh. The what? Well that's a thing I have access to? Uh a little bit. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like, I'm not saying that as a way to, like, say, oh, no, we should yeah. need to destroy you or anything. No, that's pretty cool. It is. Uh, there, there's not much not much Stone Mind uh, in the tower, apparently. Apparently Stone Mind is really, really unwelcome here, so... I wonder don't, why. Don't mention that to anyone. The, the, the other day we were wondering what were your Stone Mind-related stuff, because I did not remember any of them. I, I don't think it's come up before. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Well, that's cool. Now we know that. I knew. But yeah, they they there. haven't. They Ask haven't been them much how to handy. kill Espresso. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they they they've told me that he, just basically that he's really dangerous and not to fight him alone, which I well, think we figured yeah. out already. But uh, yeah, they they since there's nobody else affiliated with Stone Mind in this tower, it hasn't been uh that that big of a boon while we're here. Mm-hmm. That's still good to know. A yeah. change of religion <laughs> in terms of pace. So, what is Zebra weak to on the Pokemon 
weakness strength chart. <laughs> Is that really a thing? Is there? I was constantly Whoa. like being affected by stone mine stuff. Oh yeah, was, Belina like, like put out your uh, fire repeatedly when we fought yeah. her. So also maybe... no, but Satanus could turn off my outright my fire stuff. Yeah, but that was because of their weird like rune armor. We don't know if that's actually Satanist okay. technology. But yeah, like 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 some of my stuff will like make me feel sick. So maybe it's just the case that Zebra's weak to everything and uh <laughs> <laughs> expresses <laughs> What was the um who did we give that that uh badge that kind of like nullified magic? Uh, we gave up the Shaman. Where is she? <laughs> Outside. She's <laughs> Yeah, she it's Sharon in on the battle. I mean, I can use my one call per day to get in touch with her. You could use it to call McFlibbity, who we have trailing Sharon. For <laughs> now, no, this should have, at least McFlibbity could can respond back. Oh using yeah, his own powers, which is kind of the issue with my phone. It's one message, one way. McFlibbity did say he was kind of powerful. I don't know if he ever said it, but it was very implied. No, he did. He said, I could destroy you all. Oh, I don't remember that. <laughs> That's not very nice. <laughs> you probably misheard that, because he's a peaceful man. <laughs> he would never destroy anyone. Just because he could doesn't mean he would. Do you guys think it's worth giving him a call? What would it be about? That's thing. Sharon, if we're just trying to get Sharon's badge back, she's like outside the tower and does not have any sort of passport. In that case, like, how, like this might then take a while before we have access to any of this, right? Although we do have legit passes now, so we can go outside and get back in. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If Sharon's working on her own stuff, she might be hard to get. Yeah, it, it can't hurt to ask. But like, McFlibbity. Okay, it's just like I say, it's my one call per day. Oh, yeah. Calling I, can be real useful. I and mean, if you want to be logical, like, Sharon, as much as I don't like her, doesn't want me dead. So, having yet. her somehow help, yeah, yet having her somehow help against Expresso, like she might be into it. All right. So, are you calling? Maybe then Sharon you'll remember. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, Sharon, we don't know at all where she is. She might not even be local to the tower anymore. Mm. She's at the top of the tower now. <laughs> Like, both are extremely possible. Oh yeah, and if we call her, she can't respond. If we call McFlibbity, he will probably honestly tell you where Sharon is, but uh, if he's managed to follow her, which he might not have been able to. Right. But he can respond. But that's the thing, he he can respond. Is there a time limit on your uh, telepathy thing? Not really. It's a limit in words. I'm allowed fifty words. Oh, limited in words. That's yeah. Uh, that's not great characters, for, but words. That's great for him replying with his rambling senile stories. <laughs> well, like his version, I think is better than mine, because I believe we had a short conversation at a distance before. Oh, I forgot. I can. It's people can communicate through me too. They're holding my hands. Oh. Yep. To anyone that they've met. Uh, Oh, yeah, cool. I don't even have had to have met them. Oh, huh. that's cool. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> Risk Al just abruptly you shouldn't have told that to me. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? I mean, like, Sharon's probably outside the tower still. I know someone inside the tower who might be able to help, maybe? In what way? Uh, in the Kill Expresso way. Well, I mean, like, more precisely, like, how would they help? I'm not saying that because I'm not trusting you, but because I just kind of want to know what to expect. Oh, uh, he's a hitman. <laughs> Fair oh, enough. Oh, man. <laughs> what kind of hitman? I feel like all five or six of us together have a better shot against Expresso than any one person. Well, I, I wouldn't send him against him on his own. Like, he'd join okay. up. Okay. Uh, would he be good at tracking him? Because, like, that's the main issue we got right now. Oh, yeah, we just need to get the jump on him somehow. He's good I feel at... like we can get the fight. He's good at his job, I think. He I might be think. able to find him. And typically, what kind of cost would he require? 
Oh, um, I don't know. Hmm. We're not exactly rolling in money right yeah. now. Yeah. I mean, maybe. What? Well, could... I have two whole coins. How are you mm. not? <laughs> we could possibly do a favor for a favor because when I tried to get in contact with him earlier, apparently he's in some shit. Shit that we can do something about? <laughs> Potentially. Like, I literally time, don't know. I mean, do I'm something not... about fast enough to stop Espresso from poisoning another floor? Mm, don't know. Like, I'm just not a fan of, like, adding an extra layer of delay of whatever we're trying to do here, but at the same time, being able to hire someone to fight him for us would be really useful. <laughs> Like, I'm kind of torn between both uh, both sides here. I say we do assassin. Uh, the assassin route. Alright. Um, and Hannah? Uh, I have no opinion. Because I don't, I don't like know enough about the assassin. But I don't think we're going to know more. So, I don't know. And Caesar? Uh, what were the options? Well, like, basically, I... what do you feel about contacting this hitman to track and possibly at least tracking assist in killing... Good. Yeah, if he's free to do tracking so that we can get a jump on him, that would be nice. But uh, if he's tied up and we need to do another mission before he can do anything for us, I feel like that's too much of a delay. I guess there's nothing wrong in hearing what kind of task it would be. Um... But we have to be serious about the possibility of just refusing because it's not that we have a time crunch, but at the same time, we kind of do. Like, we've already spent a lot of days in here, and we're kind of still a far away off from the top floors. We have no idea where either the book nor the monolith is in here. Oh, we should get a map of the, these floors, by the way, somehow. I wonder if there's just, like, a book with a map of all the floors. But that's probably something we can't afford, because things get mad expensive. Yeah. Yeah, they probably I mean, yeah. sell that on the higher floors. Expresso dies. Oh, look, here's a map. <laughs> 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 it was inside him all the time. All right. <laughs> I was about to suggest that we, like, stake out to try and find Expresso around the police station or something, but then I got flashbacks, so... <laughs> <laughs> of, our, our, of our very successful stakeout. Yeah. Also, why would Expresso go to the police? Oh, well. I don't know. He has a police badge, so apparently he's there as a police officer all the time. Although, I guess now that he's killed a bunch of policemen, maybe they're on to him. But, like, uh, maybe. I don't know. Does he use his real name, or. Expresso isn't even his real name, so. Does he use knows. another name? <laughs> we don't know, and Caesar didn't look at his badge. So maybe we should stake out the police station. In case. Maybe we could just go there and ask them where we can find that bean bean person with a cape that's a police officer. Actually, no, they just direct us to his house that we already know he's only there when he needs to meet someone, so. Maybe we can get a report on his file if he's a police officer. Is that something they would just give to people, though? I mean, for an investigation. Go. Oh no, you go worry. I don't think police are generally very friendly in people investigating the conduct of police. Yeah. Maybe we can just steal it. We could just steal it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would go well. Alright, I'll just go to the police and click the steal option and go <laughs> to the menu and uh I mean we could ask about him and say that it's related to all the cops that got killed. And maybe the Purple Dawn case. I, I, but will it work anymore now that, like, the the Purple Dawn quote has escaped? Could we'll be a just, tie to the case. Yeah, we'll just say, like, it will help us capture him quickly. Hey, if you think you can pull that off, it's worth trying. Weren't you almost arrested last time, though? Uh, like, no. Th- well, well, kind of, but we talked them down. Okay, and you, like, you don't think they'll be on edge with seeing you... Again, this this soon? Mm. I mean, they probably won't like that I'm there, but... I don't think they like no us, one likes you anywhere. Yeah, no, me, me, uh, I'm not stepping back in that building, that's <laughs> obvious. Neither should you, Jiki Boy, yeah. just 
Neither you, Caesar, just in case you recognize your voice. I was doing a very good job of changing my voice, thank you very much. I'm sure you did, <laughs> but we're not taking any chances. It is only Hannah and Van. And, I mean, technically, uh, John, but he's not there. Yeah. He ran away while, during the night, and he's not there anymore. <laughs> he's just passed out because he had a wild night last night. Alright, so, I mean, okay, to... to kind of maybe start to get some momentum going. Give that a shot. We'll start with that, and we'll make further decisions uh, based on the results. Maybe we can go find a map, the rest of us? It's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. Well, yeah, we're here on floor five. Let's... Don't got a lot of money, though. What? What? How expensive was the map last time? The one Holo got, I think, was 30 coins. Yeah, see, I have about seven bucks in my pocket. Hmm. Maybe we should just get money. We need money. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> how do you get money here? Like, you can't go to the bank and yeah. ask for a loan, right? Well, I mean, people get jobs. Maybe we could work. I don't know. What's we that? have a rich friend. We shouldn't need to work. Yeah, honestly. That's why <laughs> That's why we tolerate Barnabu. <laughs> it's because he's rich. Well, Barnabu has evaporated temporarily. It's a thing that happens to Boo sometimes. I mean, maybe we can go to the market and sell stuff? Like, I got stuff in my inventory we could sell. <laughs> it's not it's a good idea. idea. I don't know for if, if I want to lose my Captain Jimmy seal, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, no, we will never That's a lot that. of personal value. I got a set of silverware, I got a trench knife. Uh, yeah, you okay? You know what? Maybe you have a point. <laughs> Let's uh, okay. So Van, do the thing down in Four Five. We'll reconnoitre uh, uh, the stairs between Four and Five. Um, uh, alright, so. Or like, because I don't know. Like, are we renting here long term, or was it just we a night? Bought, like one night. Right. Yeah. Do we want to meet somewhere? I mean, you have a room on a lower floor. Yeah, we still have... Okay, so I guess we'll meet back up there, then. Okay. Our fifth, fifth floor <laughs> rooms, yeah. We'll, we'll... Meanwhile, we'll do a little bit of scouting on five, get, try to get money, try to get a map of further... Honestly, uh, yeah. Later. If we stay at our fifth floor rooms, and if, if Espresso comes for us there, then we get that fight we're looking for. Uh, point. I guess so. Uh, are we? How are we splitting this? I don't know. Hannah, do you want to do some lawyer stuff? No. You're I mean, <laughs> please, Hannah. <laughs> 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 Sacrifices need to be made. We need Why? you to watch. Why do you not love me? Well, well we just don't want to be. Have, ones... I just don't want to leave the van by himself. Uh, Hannah, don't That's you a normally good point. jump at the occasion of being able to keep your eye on Van and make sure okay. there's anything shifty? Yes. Fine. I, I mean, I was thinking just if I failed, Hannah might be able to rectify it, but sure, keep an eye on me. No, look, look, <laughs> Van, we're just saying that so Hannah goes. Uh, okay. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but alright. Um, yeah, three of us. OG Squad 404. Yeah. We're doing OG Squad 404 things. <laughs> oh, God. No. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, so, are you messaging anyone with your power? Uh, we're putting that on a down low for now. Okay. Currently, we're going to the market to sell some things. <laughs> all right. Look, I don't like that well, tone of voice. You're, you all head out of your hotel and it doesn't take you all that long to find a semi-bustling marketplace. People are walking back and forth buying things. You know, it's a market. Seems pretty good. <laughs> Alright. What are you selling? Alright. So, again, I have a trench knife, silverware. Let's see. Um, I got rope. 100 foot long <laughs> rope. Got this magic knife parentheses drained. This is where Jakey Boy's kleptomania really pays off. I mean, kind oh, of. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Okay, I got a deck. Of, I, I I I really don't want to get rid of my deck of cards. No, no, but... not the deck of cards. There's there's too much emotional attachment. Those I'll cards. buy that deck of cards from you. What are you doing, Caesar? <laughs> oh boy, money. money for the party. <laughs> <laughs> Productive commerce. I mean, if I really need to, I'll sell the sweet jeans jacket. No. no. Oh man, that was a resounding no from the party. <laughs> Alright, yeah, start with the logical stuff like the silverware. And I, I guess I could sell my cutlass too if they want. Like, to. is it seriously a full set of silverware? Like, what, yeah. what does that mean? He stole that from Kamek. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? Isn't a full set kind of a lot? I, I'm assuming it's just a fork, knife, and spoon. Okay. Like, I don't think it's just like. Tupperware and cups. Uh, yeah, I count my Tupperware containers as part of my silverware. <laughs> <laughs> but you're uh, right; it's probably like yeah, like a, a plate's worth, a serving's worth. What do you guys got? Anything good? Honestly, of things that are not magical stuff that I want to keep because they're like important, like good. Like I'd sell my mortar, but it's not the flower. with us anymore. Uh, it's not my cool caricature, but I don't think it'll fetch a whole lot. <laughs> uh, I have a third point. No, you don't. Honestly, I'd consider selling the magic knife since it's drain and we don't know what to do with it. It looks Sh nice. Shaman's going to be annoyed if you do that. Well, she doesn't need it. She didn't tell me I needed to give her back, <laughs> I don't think. I don't and remember. I mean, I, I think stole it from her. Oh yeah. well. Oh. Uh, hmm. And she says that your magic power is going to go back into the knife at some point. So if we well, get rid of it, then... <laughs> yeah, that solves that problem. <laughs> I mean, that's not exactly how it was phrased, but I can't yeah. wait for the quest where we have to get the knife back. I'm going to find the magic shop, which I'm sure is a thing that exists. I... Not really, because magic is explicitly banned. Yeah, I know. I was, I was in serious. Okay. You could sell caricature caricatures with artistry. <laughs> oh, we could like have a, like a oh. corner show where we could like perform or draw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, yeah, we're gonna busk some some caricatures. Have... Is that where you're how you're spending the rest of your day while <laughs> Expresso is poisoning the floors or something? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't yeah. think we need money that badly. <laughs> What do you what do you have, Ditto? I mean if you want to just pause everything and become artists, I guess you can. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's we need to get money. No, we don't. Uh, I, this is all stuff we can actually do, but maybe after the espresso thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My okay, inventory is just uh I cleaned it out when I rejoined the party kinda. So I I have just my flashlight, which has a lot of sentimental value. Uh, Same. My Order of the Stone Mine Seal, uh, fake lawyer papers for one Milton Walsh, uh, and wow. then my like my knife. Yeah, just a bunch of fundamental small yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's, it's stuff you use, right? Okay, you know what? Before I'm starting to think that selling stuff and getting things organized like that and that might be something we do after the emergency of the Expresso situation. Yeah. The way adventuring parties make money is by being mercenaries, telling, finding people who want to hire us to do stuff in the true D and D fashion. To be fair, if we if we like beat Expresso and turn him in, there might be some kind of reward or compensation. Mm, you're not wrong. I feel like we'd be turning him in dead. Well, I mean, still, I'm fine with that. While we're okay. in the marketplace, is there? Does there look like to be a place where we can like buy like a map, like a? There's like a this. place called Big Old Maps. Huh. Oh man, they got chains here. Hey, no, your guys... it's a local place. Oh. Joe's Big Old Maps. All right, let's go to Joe's. In your guys' uh, experience, what was when you guys did your uh, investigating? What was Expresso's connection to the people selling water? Um, he's just a. Higher up, it wasn't specific. If we can find uh, people selling water, should still be publicly findable. So if we find one of them on the street, we might be able to track them. Yeah. Oh, that's where uh, Rosaline got the water from. Is Expresso's house? No, no, not Expresso's. The um, 
other guy. The other guy. That, yeah. That you turned in. I wonder yeah, how he's doing. Was... Well. Anyway. Actually, yeah. If he has to go back to his house to meet anyone, because that's how people find him, maybe we what? could just hide out at his house until he comes there to meet someone. Wait. Remember how he was saying on how all we were all gonna die? He probably kn actually knows Expresso. I mean, he's the one who probably got him out in less than a day as well. Oh yeah, I'm wondering, I mean, it's because I'm wondering if you can get to Expresso through him. Uh, possibly. I mean, he'd be easy to capture because <laughs> we did it before. Yeah. Here's what I'm guessing about that, though. Probably how he would get us in contact with Expresso is the same way that what's his name did, where they just have an arrangement to meet at Expresso's house when they need to meet. Which means that if Expresso meets anyone, he just meets them at his house. So we should just go to his house and wait? Just hang out with the, all the charred bodies. Yeah. We could, like, break his sticks or something while we wait. Very, uh, very hidden while we snap sticks over and over. <laughs> we just turn them into more sticks. Oh god, no. <laughs> I, I Wait, I could burn them with my fire breath. We could just burn them all up. And then we would be doing what Barnabu wanted. Burning down Express's house. Except it's not his house, it's just his sticks. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to burn a big pile of sticks in his house, and then the house will be fine. <laughs> Look, it's a controlled fire. Nothing to worry about. But yeah, any objections to that idea? Just waiting in his house till he... Goes there I feel like reason. we should, before going with that, at least make some sort of attempt to, like, force a meeting. And get That's information like we wanted. Yeah. Alright. But it's not a bad idea. It's just that we have a history of sometimes just kind of barging in and it never goes well. Who told us to destroy the tower, by the way? I forget. Police chief, back in 2 3. Hmm. We could just let the poison just take over the whole tower and just leave. But I think it's like the actual structure, not the people within, you know? I mean, yeah. Also, we want Make to it take easier. the obelisk. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, well, I'm going to go to the the map the map store. Have a good time. I'm going to be your wingman for the map store. I'm going to jog randomly around town looking for any... Water bottle sellers. Ooh, that's not yeah, a that's idea. good idea. All right, and you two take care of seeing if you can get anything in Cop Town. Yep. All right, and we split. 